What's up guys, it is Brandon from the CP Smand, I'm having a problem in ages. And I'm doing a Cardiff vs Chelsea preview as we play on Sunday against Cardiff City at 5 minutes past 2. We are 4 points uh, behind Arsenal. We're 4 points behind um, getting into the top 4. And um, it's quite bad at the moment. Last game, if, if we had won the last game we would be in the top 4 but unfortunately we lost 2-0 against Everton. Of course, we're gonna ball it in that game, and we are in another away game against Cardiff City. This game, I don't, I don't really know. Our away form has been dreadful um, in, in 2019. I don't know what the freaking games. I don't know what what's gonna happen in the game. It's just gonna be a mad one, and we need a win. We need a freaking win because we need to get into the top four. We need Champions League. That is a must. But we're playing like absolute dog crap, and that's just and that's just the way it is, man. I think. He has to start Hudson Odoi. Let's, I'll, I'll be honest. He has to start him. If he doesn't start him, then we're pretty much screwed. We need a strong start to the game. Because knowing us, right, when we versus his teams, we'll probably go back. I, I still think we'll win it. Because we're not that bad at all. But I just feel as though. I feel as though Cardiff might snatch one off us. Because it's just one of those teams. And the worst thing is our Arsenal are playing tomorrow. No, they're playing on Wednesday against. Um, Newcastle, so hopefully they, they pick up an L there, so we pretty much have to pray that they pick up an L and for us, we just need a strong start we need a, this is the formation I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Hazard on the left wing Gonzalo Higuain Hudson Odoi, in midfield I want to see Ruben loves his cheek instead of Barkley don't get me wrong, Barkley's not rubbish or anything like that and he did score two goals for England against Montenegro, but he doesn't go forward enough, in my opinion. He doesn't go forward enough. He doesn't take on players as he should. Like the old Ross Barkley at Everton, he was. That's the Ross Barkley wants to see. He wants to see that 22-year-old Barkley taking on players and drifting into the box a little bit more, more attacking style. Ruben loves his cheek. He's more attacking and he's stronger on the ball as well. He has great strength on the ball. Defensive midfielder, I want to see Kante there, but we know that he's not going to change anything because he's stubborn as hell. But like I said, I would put Kante there so you can mop up the play. And that's just his original position. He just has to play there. That's what I would personally play him. Alright? You can't have a prolific or you can't have a prolific player there. Let's be honest with you, right? Because whenever there's a counter attack, who's gonna break up the play? Jorginho can't defend for shite, and you all established that. And you watch them in the fr in freaking previous games. Right? You watch them in loads of games that you can't defend for shite. So why would you play him there? Alright? In centre midfield, I would play Jorginho because he can actually make the four passes and he can actually get forward a lot. Plus, he can make those type of passes that he that he gets to. And if he loses the ball in defensive midfield, we're basically screwed because they're in our, on our defence. Hold on, wait. Like I said, he's in on our defence, so essentially I play Kante there, and centre midfield I play Jorginho. Right back. I think I'll play Zaba Costa because Dave has been underperforming so much this season. This is the first time I've actually, I've, ever, I've actually ever seen him underperform. Because in the past few seasons, for us, he's been brilliant. He's been absolutely brilliant for us. And the fact that he's, he's underperforming now is a bit odd. It's like, he's a, he, I think he has the curse, but I think he has Salah's form or something like that. Because Dave, uh, Dave has, he's been one of our best players in recent seasons. And he's been our captain. And he just hasn't been doing it so far. So I'd play Zaba Costa. Two centre backs have to be David Luiz and Rudiger because let's be honest, we do have Christensen, but he makes so many mistakes. And you're probably thinking, wait, well, David Luiz makes mistakes as well, but Christensen makes mistakes at the wrong times. He makes the mistakes where you shouldn't really be giving the ball away, and that's the problem. Whereas David Luiz, he makes mistakes, but they're not, by they're not like costly mistakes if that makes sense. A left back, no doubt about it, we have to play Emerson. There's no way we can play freaking Marcus Alonso on left back. It's good going forward and all that stuff. Right, when you're in the counter attack or you're in the attack, he's good going forward, don't get me wrong with that. But when it comes to defending, the guy is just dreadful. He literally cannot defend, right? He can't defend for crap. And I don't know why Sarri played him against Everton because he just got rinsed and he was just fouling a lot. So essentially, he just can't defend. It's good going forward, but if you can't defend, then what's the freaking point? And we've been taking too many away L's this season, right? So we can't afford another slip up. We just can't afford it. We should have won at Wolves. And we drew at Wolves, luckily back from Hazard. We lost against Everton where we should have actually won that game because we dominated the first half 
and then the second half, all of a sudden Everton wants to play great football. And you know the worst thing is, Everton they weren't even th that confident at that home ground. You saw in the first half they didn't even have a, f they weren't even on form to be honest with you. And for them to just beat us two 0 just made us look like garbage. So our form has been terrible. Our goalkeeper has to, has to stay as Kepa because we paid freaking 70 million for him and he's our number one choice goalkeeper so we're not going to replace his ass. And that's basically it. Higuain hasn't, been, Higuain hasn't been doing it as often as I thought he would be doing it. But like I said, you just have to give him more time. And to be honest with you, what the frick do you expect? The guy's in his 30s. He's not going to move as fast and he won't press as fast. That's why he's like, he's there for now. Right, he's there for now. For a permanent striker, I would get like a young, I would get someone like a Cardi or something like that. I would get a young freaking striker. I bring back Tabby Abraham. Screw it. If it comes to that, I'll bring back Tabby Abraham because we got a freaking transfer ban. So we might as well bring back these players, essentially. So you know what I mean? And he's been banging in goals with Villa. I think he's got like what twenty two goals with Villa or something like that. So essentially you might as well just bring him back. That's why he's terrible, so don't bring him back. And that's it. That's pretty much my preview. My final score for the game, I'm going to go 2-1 Chelsea. I'm not even going to say 3-0 or 4-0 because we've been poor recently. Our away form has been freaking poor. And the fact we drew against Wolves, don't, I understand Wolves are a hard team. They beat Manchester United at their ground in the FA Cup 2-0. And I know you're going to say, oh, it's just the FA Cup. It doesn't matter. It happened. Right, United got rinsed. And losing against Everton, that's a nail in the coffin. That's basically saying, okay, we're shot away from home. And that's what it just demonstrates. But basically like a freaking Arsenal for freaking last year where they couldn't when they scripted an away win. Their away record was terrible and you're not gonna win the league when you have so many when you're taking so many L's away from home. Alright? So we need this freaking win. Chelsea don't disappoint me. Just please get the freaking win. We need to get into the top four. A CBA with the Europa League next season. I don't need that bollocks. Nobody needs that ball crap, alright? So I'm gonna say two one Chelsea, a goal from Hazard, a goal from Higuain. And I think a goal from one of their players. I don't know. I know we're going to concede because it's us, isn't it? But hopefully we can get the freaking win. Alright. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the flipping game and what you think will happen. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.